Hi right, guys, it's me JB with a quick video. I'll keep it short and brief and sweet. Well, not so sweet. Burnley are officially crap. Um, to lose 2-0, even away from home, to a very poor Brentford side is a disgrace. Um, no fight, no passion, no no, no care in the world. Certain players, Dwight McNeil going through the motions. It's one of the worst Burnley performances I've seen for quite some time. Uh, Dwight McNeil, poor. Um, was poor throughout. Didn't try, didn't track back. His crossing when he got into the final fair was um, a disgrace. It just didn't seem to care. Poor diving header when well positioned. He could have easily took it on his chest and then tried to hit it goalwards. Went for a diving header. It was stupid, stupid, brainless football from him. And he wasn't the only one. Tarkovsky and Taylor at fault for the first goal. Westwood has been appalling since he's come back into the team. You know, Jack Cook didn't deserve to go out. Sean Dyche, he's not immune from any criticism. The idea to take off Vig Horse, your best striker after 60 minutes and replace him with, with all due respect, Jay Rodriguez, struck me as the worst decision I've ever seen him make. Well, it should have been Dwight McNeil that, that was taken off. Um, and, uh, you know, you know, I know we hit the bar, Corne forced to save. That's another thing, Maxwell Corne, left winger, playing up front. Um, it's not just the players, the manager has to take responsibility and at the moment Deitch is, is now ruining his own reputation um, you know that's three times now we've had a chance to get out the bottom three and three times we've failed and failed absolutely miserably, it is not good enough, the players aren't good enough the players don't bother trying, they'll pick up their 60 grand a week or whatever they do on Monday and they'll laugh their socks off not good enough I feel for the supporters that have travelled down to London today. It is, it is um, soul destroying, really, when you see Everton and Leeds dropping like stones, and they could still stay up at our expense because we're not keeping our own house in order. Second goal, didn't think it was a penalty. I thought Tony made the most of it, con the ref. Didn't even think it was a red card for Collins. Disgraceful from Portier. I thought had a disgraceful game. Um, you know, the referee was a complete disgrace, but it doesn't detract from the fact that we were beaten beaten comfortably by a poor, poor Brentford side. Uh, and it annoys me even more that, that both goals came from Ivan Tony, a man that should have been sent off at Norwich last week. So I find it very hard to swallow right now. Very disappointing, very difficult to get my head round. Where do we go from here? We've got a two-week break before Manchester City. I can't see us getting anything from Manchester City, uh, despite the fact being at Turf Moor. But uh, heads need to roll. And I think Dwight McNeil needs to be dropped. I think certain players need to give their head a wobble. James Tarkovsky, Ashley Westwood especially. Um, and Sean Dyche needs to give his head a wobble because today, tactically, and as a manager, he was simply not good enough. Absolute disgraceful. What a lot of rubbish.